lesson today is dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is the process used to determine the nature of physical quantities. And the symbol of the fundamental quantities are used in dimensional analysis. Another word for dimensional analysis is dimensioning. There are seven fundamental quantities. These are mass, length, time, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity, and electric current. For this lesson, we focus on just three of them, mass, length, and time. So let me put it in a tabular form. We have mass. What's the SI unit of mass? Kilogram. Kilogram. And the symbol, that's the dimension of mass, is M. The second one we'll be using is length. What's the SI unit of length? Length is measured in meters. And the symbol for length is capital letter L. And the third one is time. In physics, we measure time in seconds. Small letter S. And the symbol for time is the capital letter C. These three fundamental quantities and their dimensions will be used to determine the dimension of other physical quantities. Let's take an example. Area. We start with area, then we take volume. The first example, we have to determine the dimension of the following quantities. We have area, volume, and speed. Let's start with area. What's the formula for calculating the area of a square? The area of a square is length multiplied by length. Length times length. What's the dimension of length? L. What's the dimension of length? L. L multiplied by L. We have L squared. So the dimension of area is L squared. The second one is volume. What's the formula for calculating the volume of a cube? Volume of a cube is length times length times length. Length times length times length. What's the dimension of length? L. Dimension of length? L. Dimension of length? L. L multiplied by L multiplied by L. We have L cubed. This is the dimension of volume. L is to the power of 3. The third question is speed. What's the formula for speed? Distance divided by time. What is distance? Distance is also the length. Yes, distance is also length because the unit of distance is meter, right? The unit of distance is meter. The unit of time is seconds. What physical quantity has the dimension of meter? That is the length. What physical quantity has the dimension of seconds? That is the time. Okay? That is L divided by T. So from here, we can just consider the distance as the length, L, and the time as the T. The symbol for time is T. That's the dimension of time. L divided by T. You know, this is the same thing as saying L multiplied by 1 over T. And according to the law of indices, this becomes L multiplied by T raised to the power of minus 1. Because 1 over T is equal to T raised to the power of minus 1. And that is L T raised to the power of minus 1. This is the dimension of speed. Let's take more questions. This is the second question. What is the dimension of velocity? And the third question, deduce the dimension of acceleration. Let's start with the second one. What is the dimension of velocity? You know, the formula for velocity is displacement divided by time. Displacement is distance traveling in a specified direction. So we can take the dimension of displacement to be the same thing as the dimension of distance. And you know we take length to be the dimension of distance. Okay? So you can have this as L divided by T. And that will give us 
L T raised power minus 1 because the denominator is T. That's why we have its power of T as minus 1. So that is dimensional analysis. To know the physical quantities that must be combined to get this particular quantity. So we combine length and time to get velocity. Okay? When you divide length by time, we get velocity. That is our objective during dimensional analysis or dimensioning. The third example is acceleration. What's the formula for acceleration? Acceleration is velocity divided by time. Acceleration is equal to velocity divided by time. What is the dimension of velocity? We already have velocity as lt raised to the power of minus 1. So we have lt raised to the power of minus 1 divided by what is the dimension of time? Second. Sorry. Second is the extra unit of time. The dimension of time is t. Dimensional analysis is different from the derivation of the SI units of physical quantities. So here we are not dealing with the SI unit. We are dealing with the dimension. The symbol T, T for time. And LT is power of minus one for velocity. So from this, what would you do? You know, this is LT is power of minus one multiplied by one over T. And 1 over t itself is t raised to the power of minus 1. So we have this as um, lt raised to the power of minus 1 multiplied by t raised to the power of minus 1. And that will be lt raised to the power of minus, minus 1 plus minus 1. That is minus 2 according to the law of indices. So this is the dimension of acceleration and this is the dimension of velocity. Let's talk about other examples. The fourth example, you have to deduce the dimension of four physical quantities. Dimension of force, work, density, and power. Let's start with the first one, the dimension of force. What is the formula for force? What is the formula for force? Mass multiplied by what? Mass times acceleration. What's the dimension of mass? M. That's just the symbol of mass, M. That's the dimension of mass. Multiplied by, what's the dimension of acceleration? That's the last term. Question we solve. LT is power of minus 2. LT is power of minus 2. From this, just combine. That is M L T raised to the power of minus 2. Very easy. The next one is work. B. Work. What's the formula for work? Force multiplied by displacement. Force multiplied by displacement. What's the dimension of force? MLT is the power of minus 2. We don't have to solve it again since we already have it. MLT is the power of minus 2. Multiply by what's the dimension of displacement? L. You know, we've already stated the fact that displacement is also length in a specified direction. Distance traveled in a specified direction. So it's also the length in a specified direction. If we combine this, we have just one M. M. This is according to the law of indices. So if you are very good with the law of indices, if your mathematics is strong, your physics will also be very, very good. M, just once, M. L, how many L do we have? L, the power is not stated, that means it is 1. L is power of 1. L is power of 1. We just combine, 1 plus 1 is 2. So L is power of 2. Then T, just once. And the power of it is minus 2. That's all. The next one is density. What's the formula for density? Density is mass per unit volume. That is mass divided by volume. What is the dimension of 
just M, the capital letter M. What's the dimension of volume? L raised power of 3. That is length raised to the power of 3. From this, you can just combine it straight to get M L raised to the power of minus 3. Why did I say so? Because this is something as saying M multiplied by 1 over L raised to the power of 3. And 1 over L raised to the power of 3 is L raised to the power of minus 3 according to the law of indices. So we just have this as M capital letter M actually. Capital letter M. M L raised to the power of minus 3. That's all. And the last one is power. What's the formula for power? Power is defined as the rate of doing work with time or the time rate of doing work. So, power is work divided by time. What is the dimension of work? The dimension of work is ml squared t raised to the power of minus 2. Divided by time, that is t. So from here, we have this as um, m l squared c squared minus 2 m l squared c squared of minus 2 multiplied by 1 over t. Let's continue here. That is m l squared c squared of minus 2 multiplied by 1 over t, ml squared, t is power of minus 2, ml squared, t is power of minus 2, multiplied by 1 over t, multiplied by t is power of minus 1, because 1 over t is equal to t raised to the power of minus 1. According to the law of indices, you can combine this to get m, since m appeared once, L also appeared once, L raised to the power of 2, L raised to the power of 2, T appeared twice, we have T raised to the power of minus 2 multiplied by T raised to the power of minus 1. So according to the law of indices, we write only one T, then we add the powers, minus 2 plus minus 1, that's equal to minus 3. So this is the dimension of power, ML squared t raised to the power of minus 3. Let me give you some classwork to practice with. This is your practice question. You have to practice with this t. Deduce the dimension of momentum. This is a past question for y, from Yek. Number one, deduce the dimension of momentum. Then number two, deduce the dimension of impulse. So solve it yourself. Pause this video and solve it. So when you are done, you compare your answer with mine. Okay, this is the solution. Number one is momentum. What's the formula for momentum? Mass multiplied by velocity. What's the dimension of mass? Capital letter M. Dimension of velocity. LT raised to the power of minus 1. That is displacement divided by time. So when you combine this, you get MLT raised to the power of minus 1. Very easy. Oibo, you call it Oibo. Oibo, why are you speaking to Oibo? Oibo. The Lagos to Imo. If I carry you go banana, my guy, you go love Lagos.